In this video, we are going to look at SDLC, what SDLC uh, actually is. So the S, S could stand for software or systems. Usually it's systems development lifecycle, okay, systems development lifecycle. But I like to, I like to um, nail the, the focus down a bit. So let's talk about software, all right? So most of the examples I'll be talking about come from the software world. So let's not talk about hardware for, for the sake of this discussion, okay? And we zoom in a bit. So we will focus on software development lifecycle, all right? So what it, what it is, you can see that it's a systematic process. You know, it's a process for building software that ensures the quality and correctness of what we are trying to build, all right? So let's, let's repeat it again. It's a process, so something that has a an start and an end, what, that ensures uh, for building software, all right? So I'll under, underline also the software. Um, word that ensures the quality and correctness of what we are trying to build. So in other words, we could say that at the beginning we have some idea, right? So we have an idea, so the, this is the light bulb. Hey, let's, uh, let's build something, let's build an app or let's build an internal system in a company. And at the end, you want to have some, some user using it, all right? So I'll, I'll draw it like this, so we have here a user, that holds so what let, let's say holds an application let's hold a mobile phone with an application a mobile application so you want to bridge somehow from the idea to a product that ticks all the boxes um, you know it could be a mobile application that allows a user to order food all right so here you have an idea hey how about we build an application uh, that allows users to see a list of restaurants and then each restaurant will have some menu and uh, on the menu the user will be able to take a few uh, items and then you know order it uh, with, with the delivery and etc etc right so that should be the functionality so in other words the software development lifecycle is a process that you know ensures the, the quality and correctness of what you are trying to build and helps you bridge bridge there, right? It actually goes then even a step further because in fact, the product will not be used uh, forever, right? So at some point you need to just uh, um, just, just cancel cancel the project or, or stop maintaining it. You need to, in, in, in many cases, just throw away. So somehow to, um, to just, just drop it, right? So say this is, this is a trash, at some point, you know, sooner or later, you need to you need to throw it uh, to, to the bin. So it guides you from the initial idea to um, to to dropping the, the the project. You know, hopefully, you will have here um, a, a few years of uh, fruitful use that you know the project should increase the revenue or whatnot. But eventually, at some point, uh, it needs to come to an end. The software development lifecycle identifies the, the stages here. So say there could be three, four stages. For example, hey, you have an idea, all right. So some, you somehow initiate the, the, um, the, the project and then you need to somehow analyze it. It's actually similar than you know, going to a store, uh, say a grocery store, you have an idea. Hey, I need to buy something because I'm going to cook um, a dinner, so I need to I need to buy something. So you, you initiate the, the thought of you know going to a shop and buying something. So so then you need to analyze. Hey, what are the um, the items I don't have at home? What do we need to buy? All right. So you analyze it. Then you go to the store. You um, you you buy those things and then you cook and then they throw the the rest of. Um, of the um, groceries uh, to the bin, okay? So it, on a high level, the, the stages are similar than you going to a store, uh, shopping for groceries. Here, it actually shows you, hey, you need to analyze the systems, you need to develop the systems, you need to test the system, you need to deploy the system to a production, the system could be a software, right? 
and then you maintain it because a user is using it for maybe one, two or three years. You need to maintain it, you need to uh, fix bugs and then eventually you need to find a way how to, uh, how to stop, um, stop supporting it, how to um, throw it to the bin in other words. Okay, so this is, this is what the software development lifecycle uh, talks about you know the different stages and uh, and their deliverables all right so each stage has some deliverable so if here is an idea you need to somehow describe the idea then you analyze it so you have a document analyzing the, the systems then you have some say coding phase so you produce the code and then you give it to testers to test okay so then after the testers test it then there is again some document um, um, describing all the user acceptance tests and how it passed. Okay, so I, I don't want to go into details, rather I would like to show you how it all fits together, how these phases are linked and they are deliverables from one stage to another. Similarly, as you going to a shop, you have an idea and then you um, you write down what you are supposed to buy, right? So this is again one of the deliverables, your list of mm, the items to buy, you know, the, the little notes on a post-it or wherever. So first it describes the, the stages and then the, the software development uh, lifecycle um, is, is also really, or it relates to the methodologies because you, you can have different methodologies um, for example, waterfall or Kanban that we will talk about. So these are the methodologies. So these are the, the stages and these are the methodologies, methodologies such as waterfall or Kanban that we will talk about also in this course. So what stages are there and what methodologies are there? All right, hope this is clear. If not, please ask me questions. I'm, I'm excited as soon as I see a question because there is an opportunity to answer it and that indicates you guys pay attention to what I talk about. So uh, there is nothing better than a question below this video.